Hey, it is Andy from Fence Post, the vinyl and music blog. And today we're gonna take a look at 764 Hero and their album, Weekends of Sound. I graduated high school in 1999. Yeah, I'm a little bit older than I look. I got my first computer in the year 2000. At that time, there was a new thing called Napster, this file sharing program. And what you could do is you could go on there and you could download music for free, not necessarily legal or ethical, but it was 2000, everyone was doing it. And I will admit I did a little bit myself, but not how you think. I used it as a mechanism for discovery. I took obscure bands, that I liked and I would find people who had them in their collection and I would look at their collection and pull songs to sample from. Well, guess what? That's how I discovered 764 Hero. Their album, Weekend of Sound, came out in 2000 and they were local to the Seattle and Pacific Northwest area, which was kind of where I had grown up. Now, if you look at any review from that era, they'll kind of highlight a few different things. First off is the name, 764 Hero. Weird to use a phone number? Well, not necessarily. If you grew up in Seattle in the 90s uh, or early 2000s, and to be honest, I'm not 100% sure, they might still be using it to this day. 764 Hero is the number that you would call to report HOV lane violators. I may have used it once. Another thing that they will mention is 764 Hero's similarity to other more popular bands of the day that hailed from the greater Pacific Northwest area. Bands like Modest Mouse, obviously, and Built to Spill, kind of that hard driving, quirky at times, a little bit emotive, but not overly weepy sound that kind of hailed from the Seattle area, of course, built to spill being from Idaho. So that gets tied in with the Seattle weather. Uh, lots of rain, depressing, and those terms get thrown out as well. And finally, uh, would be, at least with Weekends of Sound, the production of Phil Eck, which on this album had surpassed anything he had done for 764 Hero previously. And I will attest, a lot of those things do ring true. You listen to 764 Hero, pretty much any 764 Hero album or song, and you hear the influence of the Pacific Northwest, a lot of the other artists of the day. You've got Modest Mouse, you've got Caustic Resin, you've got kind of a lot of those post-grunge indie bands that um, have this kind of Northwesty vibe. 764 Hero follows suit. To further drive that home, Weekends of Sound is on Up Records, which is the label that released a lot of those early Modest Mouse albums. So let's take a quick look. Favorites include Terrified of Flight, Weekends of Sound, You Were the Long Way Home. A lot of really good, fun songs that I revisit relatively frequently, to be honest. So back in the day of Napster, this is one of those bands that came to me via the kind of perusing other art or other people's collections and kind of seeing what what resonated. Weekends of Sound, the song Terrified of Flight was really kind of the one that drew me in and got me really excited about this band. It does come with a, looks like about a nine by nine insert, maybe a 10 by 10, including lyrics and credits. It's one-sided, single color. And then you have the record itself, which has the signature Up Records quad logo there. 
head over to Fence Post. The music blog link is in the description. You can read my review of this, see some songs from the album, and listen to more there, as well as check out all the other reviews and albums and stuff that I'm talking about. I'm looking at everything from my collection. As you can see, I'm just beginning with the numbers. I'll see you next time.